Welcome to Holocaust 101. Sturmob Tai Lung, aka the SA, was created in 1921 to destroy civic institutions. After the leader of the SA, Ernest Rome, and his officers started to have socialist ideas, Hitler got angry and executed them. Schutzstaffel were a group of Nazi bodyguards that worked for Hitler. When they were recruited, they had to prove that they weren't from Jewish backgrounds in order to join. By the end of World War II, more than 25,000 members were a part of Schutzstaffel, and they ran Nazi bot, uh, concentration camps and intelligence operations. The Judenrat were a Jewish community set up by the Nazi party. They were established to maintain order in Jewish ghettos and was made up of Jew Jewish community leaders. They also were responsible for community service. In 1939, the cruise liner St. Louis traveled from Germany to Cuba with over 900 Jewish refugees. However, German leaders made a deal with corrupt Cuban officials to deny entry to the Jews to prove that no country wanted to have them. The St. Louis then traveled to the U.S. where they were again denied entry due to immigration quotas. The U.S. instituted the quotas to keep control over the number of immigrants from a certain country. Later, the St. Louis finally landed in Holland. By the end of the war, over 600 passengers of the St. Louis died, therefore causing the U.S. to be ashamed of its actions. Gypsies, also known as Romas, were another minority that suffered during the Holocaust. They are nomadic people with ancestors from India. They are called gypsies because many Europeans thought they looked like Muslims from Egypt. They are the second largest territorial minority. But many members of Hitler's inner circle despised gypsies. Henrich Himmler and Joseph Goebbels made quotes like, Gypsies should be exterminated and they should disappear from the face of the earth. June 1938 was the first time they got sent to concentration camps. Gypsies suffered the same wrath as Jews. M many gypsies were killed in gas mobile vans, and in Auschwitz, there was a section just for them. Himmler wanted the gypsies to be studied, but after pressure from Martin Bormann, the experiment ended. Gypsies were killed by gas chambers, in concentration camps and ghettos, by German special task forces, and German allies. In all, 250,000 to 1.5 million gypsies were estimated to be killed by the Nazis. Bergen Belsen was a German concentration camp for political prisoners. Most deaths were from poor nutrition and disease. Guards were cruel. In 1944, Joseph Kramer became the new camp commander and made conditions worse. He was incredibly harsh and overcrowded the camps with 80,000 people. The British captured the camp and sentenced Kramer to death for such harsh conditions. At the camp, they found thousands of people dead or starved. He was hung a few days later. Ravensbrück was a Nazi concentration camp for women that was opened in 1939. It was located near Berlin in Germany. The camp eventually contained 26,700 female prisoners. Along with poor living conditions and very little food, women were often used for torturous medical experiments such as transplants, incisions, gas. Gas chambers were used later on during the camp and many women had died. Kristallnacht is known to the world as the Night of Broken Glass. It happened on no in November 1938, and it was the first attack by the Nazi on the Jewish people. This event alone was one of the main reasons in resulting in the Holocaust. Many Jews in the Warsaw Ghetto, a place where many Jews were kept to live, were dying of starvation and disease. This was run by a Jewish council who were basically the leaders of the other Jews, except they worked with Nazis. Every day, Nazis would deport over 5,000 Jews to the Treblinka death camp. Eventually, the Jews lost trust in their council and formed the Jewish Fighting Organization. They attacked the Nazis with homemade bombs in January 1943 when the Nazis attempted to take 8,000 Jews to Treblinka in one day. This delayed the, the deportations, but months later, Heinrich Himmler ordered for Warsaw to be cleared by Hitler's birthday in April. After a month-long battle, only about 100 of the Jews were still alive, even with the escapees being gassed out of the streets. Auschwitz is known for being the biggest concentration camp during World War II and its role in Hitler's final solution. The camp is located in Auschwitz-Schiem, Poland. The site was probably chosen because of the rail lines that made transporting Jews into Auschwitz easier. It had three separate camps, the prison camp, the labor camp, and the extermination camp. The compound was headed by SS Captain Rudolf Hoess and his men. They sorted able-bodied men into labor camps and women and children, elderly and disabled, were all sent straight to gas chambers. The Soviets became a 
When the Soviets became a threat, Hitler's man made the prisoners march away from the camp on death marches where many died. On January 27, 1945, Soviet troops arrived and liberated more than 7,000 prisoners. During the Holocaust, the Nazis subjected millions of people, both Jews and other victim groups, to forced labor under brutal conditions. Forced labor was often pointless and humiliating. It was imposed without proper equipment, clothing, nourishment, or rest. Most forced labor took place in factories that created supplies to support the German war effort. Other types of labor included being forced to work the gas chambers and crematoriums essentially to harm fellow victims. Conditions of the labor facilities were inhumane. Workers were not given sleeping quarters, fed very little, exposed to disease often, not given sanitary facilities to bathe, and so much more. Most workers did not make it until the end of the war, and even if they did, most died from overeating shortly after being freed. The National Social Socialist German Workers' Party was more commonly known as the Nazi Party. This was a German political party. High inflation, high unemployment, ineffective government policies, financial burden, and financial burden caused this group groups like these to form. By the 1930s, it had over 180,000 members. In 1919, Adolf Hitler joined the Nazi party. When Hitler took control of the Nazi party, it became a solo party. Not long after joining, Hitler found himself ranking higher and higher until he was in charge. Under Hitler's control, the party came to power in 1993 and held power until 1945. The party led Germany into World War II, the Holocaust, and many other crimes. In the end, Hitler committed suicide. Twelve Nazi leaders were executed and six were sent to prison. The Gestapo were a police force that the Nazis had that would kill or collect anyone that went against the Nazi regime, and they would use force and violence to control the people. If you were not a uh, part of the Nazi people, then you would be put into camps like Auschwitz and high ranked officials in the Gestapo controlled the camps that held the people. Members of the Allies decided to have trials over on war crimes committed by Austrian and German soldiers from 1945 to 1946. More than 100 Germans and Austrians were put on trial. 24 high ranked Nazis went on trial and were convicted of war crimes. 12 of those were sentenced to death, and 10 of those, of those 12 sentenced to death were hung on the same day.